welcome to this Lucky 44 tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to try to get people ready to use a simple spawn script. Um, I'm going to do two parts. First part is you don't want to understand it, you just want to use it. The second part will be a little explanation for how you can use it uh, in a custom way and shape it to be more what you want. So here's my script that I'm going to use for th this demonstration and here are the assumptions here. I'm assuming that I'm going to use CSAT units. For this demo I'm going to make a 10-man squad and then I'm going to use uh, uh, four markers. So here I am in the editor. First marker is going to be, uh, they're all going to be empty markers so that they don't show up on the map um, in-game. I'm going to name the first one Spawn 1. That's where I'm going to want things to spawn. Uh, I could change that, but then I'd need to change the name in the script over here, where I define the, the point, the spawn point, to be marker pause 1. Okay, second uh, marker is going to be called WP1A, waypoint 1A. That's going to be the first place where my spawn squad is going to move. Then I've got waypoint 1B and waypoint 1C. I've got a helo and a truck and Hesco barriers and a quad bike there just for reference because we're in the uh, virtual reality map so you can see where things are. And then I've got this trigger. Normally you might have, like if your players are blue 4 and your opposition is op 4, you might have a trigger that detected blue 4. But here I've got activation set to civilian. I could change that to blue 4 but because my player unit is a civilian, I've got it set like that. I've set the size and shape. This is just 10 meters by 3 meters, and it's a rectangle. I have no timeout or countdown. And I only want it to happen once when a civilian activates it by being present in the 10 by 3 rectangle. That's the condition, this. What happens when a civilian is in there? Well handle equals exec vm scripts slash spawn inf squad simple dot sqf that means that it's going to exec exec execute this script which is found in my folder called scripts which looks like this here's my mission folder here's the mission file and i've got a little folder within it and then there's my script to spawn the units in there. It's always a good idea to start your habits early, separate your scripts into a separate folder. Um, so that'll execute once when a civilian enters the trigger. L you could have more waypoints. You could add them. Here you can see I've got three waypoints set up and certain things to happen. Here are the names of the waypoints. I could change them. I could copy and paste and change the name and add a fourth or fifth, etc. But for this demo, I've just got three. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm in game. Uh, there's the quad bike. There's the Hesco barrier. I know that right in front of me is the rectangle. Let's, make, let's get to third person. I run into it. And there's my group that spawns, and they start moving right off to the first waypoint by the helo. You can see there's some diversity to the group there, but I'm not going to tell you about that unless you watch the second part of the video. Got an RPG guy, and an AR guy, and some regular guys. Notice their behavior's changing now. And then the leader's moving off to the second waypoint won't tell you about the behavior in this video and eventually they're gonna move to the third waypoint so that's it this is the first part real simple there you go